So JD, I wanted to um, talk real quick about a product we're using. This is the um, Bear Deck Over System. Um, what we're going to be doing is coating this um, this patio, which we've already etched with muriatic acid and washed it real good with a surface cleaner. Anyway, so we're using the Texture Deck Over um, old wooden concrete, blah blah blah, deep base. Um, once again, so. One of the most common mistakes I see guys make when applying this this coating is they don't back roll their um, where they cut in. So in other words, what they'll do is uh, they'll pick up a little bit, come over here, and actually. So what they do is they cut this in and then they leave this, this transition smooth. Well what happens is, as you can see, this here has already been rolled out. Notice the difference in the texture. When I go to roll this with an 18 inch roller and then I have this picture frame around the edge of just straight cut from a brush it's going to stand out like a sore thumb so what I do is I come back with a four inch zip roller kind of a loose nap that way uh, you know the the roll just blends evenly whenever you come back over it and you want to get that cut as tight as you can towards the wall that way everything is covered and if you see any little spots and jam them full but um and this ensures that you know you don't have two different textures or what they call picture framing around the edge where your brush has left drag marks and then your roller has left a basic orange peel texture and it always helps to kind of pull some be you know weightless when you do it don't put any pressure in and back and forth motion not just in one direction or you'll have what's called you know it's kind of like a surf wave that all the all the texture will be leaning in one direction and you don't want that either all right so uh what i've done over here is i went ahead and this this there's a um, a stress fracture in the in the actual concrete so also over here we want to go ahead it, it's already been filled and you can see there's some holes that's going to have to be filled later on. Um, and what I would probably do after this this texture or coating sets up, I would actually put some kind of a primer that would bond to this stuff real well. So when it goes down into the holes, it grips to the hole itself and uh, gives the, the next coat the ability to... Um, to backfill so once again I'm just texturing this so it all blends evenly whenever we go to put this finished coat on here that stuff's starting to set up pretty fast so I'm glad I started this video so I could come over here and work it out otherwise we would have had some high spots and if you see any you just work them in I got a little ridge right here as you can see it's best to go ahead and just knock that off and get rid of it anyhow so this is James with JDI painting and renovations and that's the first part of this video on how to run the bare deck over over an existing uh, concrete pad